Let's turn now to the race for the White House. Both nominees are focusing on the economy, the top issue for voters. Vice President Kamala Harris talks to a business group in Pittsburgh today, while former President Donald Trump outlined his plans yesterday. Robert Costa is outside Charlotte, North Carolina, where Trump will campaign later today. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Adriana. For both candidates in this season, confronting economic pain is a priority, and they're now competing hard to show voters they feel that pain and have answers. In Georgia Tuesday, former President Donald Trump boasted he would bring a manufacturing renaissance to the state. We're cutting the business tax from 21 percent to 15 percent, which makes us the most competitive tax anywhere on the planet, but only for those who make their product in the USA. And vowed to generate more American jobs. Not only will we stop our businesses from leaving for foreign lands, but under my leadership, we are going to take other countries' jobs. It was Trump's first visit to Georgia since the state's election board approved a contested new rule to hand count every ballot that comes in on election day, a move praised by Trump, but criticized by Georgia's Republican Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger. Do you worry the board's playing politics? Some of their rules would actually delay the process. We don't think that's healthy for our republic at any time, but to, particularly now, when we are so highly polarized. Today, Vice President Harris will lay out her economic vision to voters in western Pennsylvania. While Tuesday, she put an emphasis on another key issue, abortion rights, calling for a change to Senate rules to secure federal protections. I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe, and, and, and we need and get us to the point where we, 51 votes would be what we need to actually put back in law the protections for reproductive freedom. Trump's visit here today to North Carolina comes as the state's Republican gubernatorial candidate, Mark Robinson, faces a crisis, including staffers resigning over alleged comments he made years ago on adult websites. Trump and Robinson are not scheduled to be together today. Adriana. All right, Bob, thanks so much.